Shooter Brand, we back at it. This episode brings us to Salem Lake, Wisconsin. And remember, if you want your own shooter merch, check out my website at imashooter.com. I'm so excited to announce our first college shooter of the month. This kid's a real hooper, so let's check it out. This is Rio with I'm a Shooter Brand. My shooter of the month is... Jane Zachary and I go to Boston College. Zachary with it for Boston College, right to the rack and finishes. All right, let's get to know our shooter. So I'm super excited. So obviously, you know, you're going to be a sophomore in college. Sir. Tell me what, you know, kicks that you got coming in for this upcoming mm -hmm. season. Uh, this upcoming season, I know we got a few more new bounces that are coming out, some Kawhis. I think um, DeJounte Murray just signed with us, so we're going to get some kicks from him too. So I'm kind of just waiting to see what they give us this year. That's super exciting. So, you know, you're warming up, you know, you're getting in your zone. Who's the artist that gets you pumped mm -hmm. up for every game? Uh, it gets me pumped. I feel like I'll go to Young Boy or Lil Baby. Young Boy, Even though Rodway is my favorite like singer or rapper, but I still go to them to kind of get me hyped up before the game. Oh, okay. Um, who do you say your favorite team is, and who's your who's your favorite player? Uh, my favorite team is the Bulls, and my favorite player is always gonna be Derrick Rose. Derrick, that's a good answer. <laughs> Derrick Rose, Derrick Rose, he nice, he nice. So you know, coming from high school to college, what do you think was the best transition that you had to like accomplish? You mm. know, getting there. I feel like coming from high school, especially going to prep school, to Jugo to college, it kind of took time to just develop my game more and more. Because being here in high school, it wasn't a competitive game every night. And as I went on from level to level and now making it to college, you got to come out and compete every practice, even off days, every game. So it's just that whole mindset of how you got to come in and work 110% every day. Got you. You know, for you know, upcoming freshmen that's coming into you know college, what advice would you get them? Mm -hmm. Uh, I feel like the biggest thing is just find your role and whatever that role is just work off of it because coming in you're not always going to be the leading scorer, the point guard, the main person that gets the ball so kind of when you go to school find out your role and just work from that and just grow and develop that. Okay. You know this summer what you think you had to work on the most this summer? I think the biggest thing was just my decision making especially being the point guard coming off screens. That's a lot of what I worked on with like the coaches this summer just that decision making. Okay. All right. So this season, you know, what do you think your personal goals is and what's your team goal is mm -hmm. for this upcoming season? My personal goals, I want to make an all-conference team, that's for sure. That's like the biggest thing that I want to do, but just keep developing from last year. And then as a team goal, I just want to make the tournament. That's like the biggest thing that I think me and every single person at Boston College thinks we can do this year. Okay. That's where I put our mindset to. All right. You know, you having a good, strong, you know, supporting pass, what do it mean to have that good supporting mm -hmm. pass like behind you? Mm -hmm. It's really good, especially coming home. Like, I'll see a lot of people. They're always like, we're proud of you. Just keep pushing. And that's a sort of motivation. So when you're at school and, like, you're kind of just stressed, feeling down a little bit, like, can I really do this? You think of that. Like, there's people that have got your back that are pushing for you. So you got to keep working. All right. How many shots you think, you know, you take a day? Mm -hmm. A day? Like, this summer, I'd say probably a few hundred, maybe, because I know me and a few teammates, we go to the gym 
maybe midday workout, maybe one on one, then go at night and just get shots up on the machine. So it's a few hundred, maybe close to a thousand some days. All right. Who would you say your biggest role model is that pushed you like every day to be the player you are today? I feel my biggest role model would be my dad and my mom. That's the main people that pushed me through everything. They supported every decision I made, especially coming out of high school, not settling and going to prep school and then Jugo and trying to make it to Division One school. They're the main two people that were like, we support whatever you think is best for you. All right. So obviously you got game. You, you yeah. definitely a ball player. You know, what do you think you get overlooked at, mm -hmm. like on the court? You know, mm -hmm. so like, what do you think, like, yo, like it's an asset, like you, that you think people don't really like, mm -hmm. like give you credit for? Yeah, I think a big thing would be. Before last year, it would have been my shooting, honestly, because a lot of people thought I couldn't shoot. But then this year, I kind of came out and proved that. So I'm now coming into this next year, they're going to think my finishing skills at the rim aren't as strong because all I did was shoot last year. So they're not going to realize that I can do that, too. Right. Obviously, you got love for basketball. If you won playing basketball, what other sports you think you'll be playing? Definitely baseball. That was honestly my number one sport for a while. Okay. Until like maybe sophomore year of high school and then I stopped playing. But yeah, that was my main sport. Definitely baseball. All right. Why is it so important to hit the books first? Like, why is it so important to be a student athlete first? It's always going to be the most important thing because if you're not in the classroom getting your grades right, you're not going to be on the court. And especially in college, coaches see that they check on that. So you'll be out of practice. You'll be out of games, and everybody's gonna see that. They're gonna be like, "Why wow, he's not playing?" And they're gonna figure out and realize, and it's gonna end up hurting you in the future. What would you say? Like, why are you unique? What makes you stand out from everyone else? Mm -hmm. I feel like being technically an undersized guard, like six two, compared to a lot of other guards. I feel like my strength, like my skill, like my body is like stronger than a lot of other guards. So I use that, especially on defense. So that's the biggest thing that sticks out for me. Obviously, you're, you're, you're a nice, strong guard. Who do you say you play, your player compares to? Like, who do you think you like play like? The main person that I realized this last year was Jalen Brunson. I started watching a lot of highlights from him throughout this year. So I kind of see he's a big, strong guard. He likes to get to the rim. He can shoot. So like watching him and trying to develop my game sort of like his is kind of what I'm going to do from now on. Tell me, what do you think it means to be a shooter? Mm -hmm. I think being a shooter, it's kind of you're just a threat. So obviously any, anywhere on the court, you're gonna catch the ball, they're gonna have to close out short, and it opens up every part of your game. Right. Especially for a quick guard, kind of a bigger guard like me, being seen as a shooter, they gotta close out close from anywhere on the court. And that's just gonna open up a lot more for me and the whole team. Nice. So obviously basketball, you, you love playing basketball. So on your free time, tell, us, tell, tell the people what you like to do when you're not playing basketball. Mm -hmm. Um, when I'm not playing basketball, honestly, I like to just chill, really just relax with like some friends or my family. Cause I kind of take that time as time to like recover, really. Cause I'm used to playing basketball all year round, so taking that time to just relax and recover my body is probably the best thing for me. All right. Okay. So you know, obviously Boston College, you know, great college. What was the most you know exciting thing you did that you like about Boston College? Uh, the best thing I like about it is honestly kind of just seeing the whole experience, like a whole bunch of people and how like accepting and how kind of close the whole community is. Cause I'll go out downtown, get some food and everybody kind of just knows you. And everybody's like supportive of you. So it's always, hi, hello, how are you doing? It's good to see you, like we'll be at the games and all that. So kind of that feeling there is kind of my favorite thing about it. So I'm gonna leave you with this. Keep working hard, trust your family, put God first and good luck on your upcoming season. Sir, I appreciate it. Yeah.